Alright, we got a first match. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta be throwing right, hands. Right, right. I don't have sound on my end, Devin. Is that is that normal? I got you. Okay. All right, game one. Lucina Alomar. Alf. Alfie. Very good distinction. Two sorties, more or less, but it's going to be Hunk <laughs> playing the distance game. Getting the grab on Vash, but even that up smash, it's going to get beaten out by the forward air. And Vash is forcing Hunk way into the corner right now. I mean, Alomar doesn't mind too much, but it is still a tough situation to be in. Yeah, he definitely fights <laughs> his way out that corner with those Pikmin. Very useful tool to have, like projectiles that cause like built up damage, <laughs> can kill very strong from a distance, very solid disjoints. Mm -hmm. So that's the purple online, no Pikmin taken out at all and ooh, off stage right now. See them went for the purple Pikmin gimp, not going to find it instead. Going to be a reversal at ledge as Vash going to be... Not really contested on their way back up. They're having a fun time just taking <laughs> control of that platform. Ooh, <laughs> Gotta be ready to take off uh, straight hits from Lucina here. Always ready for that tumble to follow up. Mm -hmm. Also has to build up some decent Pikmin lineup because this is a little rough for you. Like even if the, the percentages are even, Ooh. one good read from the Lucina could take that. But as but, I say that, Hung takes the first stock with that throw kill. So the knowing your throw kill percentages. Yeah, that was not a good read. Going for the up beyond stage right there to cover neutral getup or something. That ain't gonna work. And Vash is down a stock for it. And oh, Alomar does one thing good. It's racking up percent. Already at 53. Mm. Can't let Alomar get the lead. <laughs> mm -hmm. Since he's no trouble giving that percentage right back to you on your fresh new stock. And wave landing back into the corner right now. It is going to be Hunk just controlling center stage. What I said Vash was doing well at the beginning of this match. Not going to be repeating that as... Ooh! I don't know if they held down or if that was a legit two frame, but Hunk got a few good about that one. This hurts. This is, this is a hard comeback to make. This is going to require more than hard reads like that because you're going to take mad damage for, for going for things like that. Mad damage if you let that connect onto you, and they can't get the kill either. So many good options for Lucina, and finally going to miss that tech. Hunk sent off the side to the stage spike, but that's a large deficit. <laughs> yeah, so the Pikmin in this game come out in a set order. So in this matchup, you would, you know, learn to, to find out what that set order is. So. Just to avoid situations like what happened at the beginning of his stock right there. Where he summoned the white Pikmin immediately and just threw it at him. That built up like a good 20% right there just from that alone. So, mm -hmm. this is certain like little, little eye things to, just to watch out for. Oh, damn. Hunk doesn't need to be crazy aggressive here either to just take this. Because being at zero when your opponent is at kill percent, that's powerful. Hunk though is building up there. Yo, Vash slowly taking it back, but now they're in the corner. Get the grab, though. Off stage, this is their chance. If they get the kill here, but <laughs> fall right into a purple. Oh, he's really trying to land on him with a button. It'd probably prioritize, like, pulling out the right set of order to Pikmin, or just going for that. Okay. Almost killing there, too. Hunk with the movement. This should be a kill. Yep. Is that yellow? Oh, yeah, yeah they didn't yellow. get the blue. Yeah. Blue is definitely going to kill. Now oh. I think they're trying to get that blue out there, but ah, there it is. There, the blue yeah. fire taking him off the top is. Mm -hmm. Will be Hunk going up to 1-0 over Bash. Yeah. Does, honestly? honestly, both players... Uh, well, Hunk had it in control of his, of his pick, I'd say. It was probably Vash not recognizing uh, certain situations of being too close to Hunk, being within range of the character. Yeah. Like, if, Hunk is, if Hunk's gonna play neutral against them, I I believe they would throw the Pikmin more, because, like, it's better than doing nothing, really. They travel a good range, they, they attach, they do a lot of damage. So, Vash could probably find openings off of uh, Hunk's uh, Pikmin patterns. Just to see if he can start something and then put, apply a little more pressure, like... 
Yeah. Like what they Fish. did there to take that stock right there, just to, just to jump off and do the uppy. Yeah, that's that's a good one, but that only really works because they were at like a hundred seventy percent, and even though then that was still techable, and we've seen Hunk hit those techs before. Right? Really, at that, at that percent, anything that sent out would have killed. A back air, maybe even a forward air at ledge. Uh, nah, that's a little optimistic, but still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just the concept, though. Like, you mm -hmm. see someone off, like, off stage, like, and their recovery is pretty hittable, and you have a disjoint. <laughs> I'd go mm -hmm. out there and swing. I Honestly, I'd go out there and swing. All right, so moving on. Game two, where would Vash want to go? Counterpick is in their court. I know uh, this is just a me thing, but mm. at, at, at this, like, when you're getting really frustrated by a zoner, I, I like platform movement in general, but sometimes you just got to get out of the way and think of Marth. It went Marth. Okay. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's their icon. I believe Marth was seeing the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe the tippers can help. All right, Battlefield game two. Going right in there. Hitting the buns. Has and optimal is... positioning, but lets it go. Oof. Now they're getting comboed. This is big damage. Yes. It's going to be Vash losing control of the corner and paying dearly for it. Oh, the delayed side B to try and get them to drift into the tipper area. Not going to work out, but they are successfully defending against a lot of these Pikmin attacks, yeah. keeping the percents even and drifting out to avoid that parry up smash. Solid job. Meaty downer just to cover that ledge on the recovery. Good stuff from Punk there for, for the coverage. Mm -hmm. Making it very difficult for Vash to get an approach here. Ooh, that almost, almost clocked him. <laughs> the range wasn't like big enough, I guess. Oh, there it is. Another one. Meaty downer. Yeah, the, the disjoint on that is, it, it's so nice for Hunk to be able to get all that. The primary color Pikmin, not a lot of big kill power right here, but if the blue grabs him, well, it's going to be a couple up smashes before that happens, but uh, it's obvious that's what they're looking for. Look at all these dash packs. <laughs> There's the dash grab right there into the corner. They still have the blue on line, but that killed. Okay, <laughs> that was mid-stage tipper. Marf still got it. Mm -hmm. Good to see. Full rage, too. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Forward tilt, 15%. Really strong tippered move. I, I guess... are helping. I guess Vash just said, okay, if you're going to play the range game, sure. Sure, I'll play the game. Why not? <laughs> perfect character for this, this little game we're about to play right now. As I am keeping up, and I am winning in the percentage war. Sometimes the stock war. If I get my hits to work. Oh, damn. Big damage incoming off. Raw up smash hitting. Mm-hmm. Unk has their combo game on point, and you gotta when you're playing kind of slow like this. There's, like you said, if they're gonna play neutral, you're gonna see them throw those Pikmin a lot more. That's exactly what we're seeing now. <laughs> Vash taking a really good advantage of their distance right now. Mm. Going right in taking the stock and getting this lead. Now, this is a really, uh, this is a really good turnaround for them. Mm-hmm. You can see just playing up high, just above Hunk's range. Can't throw up there. Doesn't want to expose themselves to much chip damage as they try and find an opening, get out of these early percents where they can actually start to look for kill confirms. Wow, that was... I guess that was just more Vash wanting to get the hit there. They didn't really need to do that, they just had to prioritize recovering there. But so, even stocks. Still a good spot for both players, it's just... Vash has been winning the, the exchanges more because of their... Uh, Nice button presses. <laughs> okay. Very, very nice indeed, as Hunk. It's one or two juggles up there. Hmm. Vash will be controlling the center again. Now just trying to stay at ledge. And they're, they're actually shielding the Pikmin that are being thrown at them. Is You're not dead? All right, cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good tech, good tech. You needed the tech there. There you are. Forced to go low. Can I put him in a good spot? Oh, wait. No, Ooh. get some Pikmin, get some Pikmin. Yeah, you can see they're both playing a little scareder now. Cautious. A lot of shields coming out as soon as they're on the ground. But Vash, yeah. staying on this platform has worked out well for them. <laughs> okay, this is a really good spot for both players right now. Oh, what a clash! No follow-up there from Hunk. 
Punk. Both players have to watch each other's ranges. Ooh. The roll behind right there almost was a big opening. That's a blue Pikmin online, but they did elect to throw it instead. That purple could be the game changer right there is the Ford tilt. He got one kill and two kills. Uh, I was gonna say three kills, but it was the dancing blade at the beginning. Is that will be Hunk tying this up, <laughs> or Vash mm. rather? <laughs> what a really good counter pick on Vash's part, just to pick this uh, this character with the unsuspecting range that Hunk was, I guess, not ready for. Like, look at that. They were they were focused on like playing their game of neutral here, throwing the Pikmin and trying to dash out of the situation. But that was a quick catch there from Vash. That dash, look, at, look how fast. It, look at this coverage. Oof. Great, yeah. great. I, I'm tilt. honestly kind of surprised because <laughs> the joke is that Marth can't kill. Vash was having trouble killing and they went to the Marth and look at them now. Like, not gonna lie, their tippers are kind of clean. <laughs> Oof. True. Like, when it comes to playing like either or Marth or Lucina, like, I, I guess it wouldn't matter more for Lucina on where what range they do get their hits on. But it's a lot bigger for Marf because Marf gets really solid kills off the ranges. Like dash up four tilt, I, I don't believe should be killing for like Lucina like that. Almost it's like a really higher. Marf can just go up at a, at a hundred and do it. From what we just seen here, this dancing blades into that dancing blade, the tipper like underside platform will kill on sixty at sixty on most stages and. Mm. It, what they did was actually incredibly hard. I tried to learn Marth at one point, drop them, because there was a video called How to Hit the Final Tipper Hit of Dancing Blade. The oh, video sorry. is like an hour and 15 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sitting through that. But Vash apparently did. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is what built the Marth we see today. So <laughs> let's see if we can close out the set here in game number three. Well, I need two to win here, so... Where does Hunk want to go? To at least combat this new Marf that they have to fight. Thank you for that coupon code uh, redemption. We appreciate that, and every cent counts. <laughs> keep up, keep up the coupons, yo. We have plenty more to spare. All right, that was is interesting. Knock Vash was staying on the platform a lot right there. Side platform gonna be a little better for a recovery mix up, mix up for Vash, but overall, I'm liking this from a hunk. Now, I suspect Hunk wanted to go here for the range, but they're probably not taking advantage of it as much as they're still within Marsa swinging. So they have to watch out as to where they plan to start their, their game plan with the pick and throwing. Mm hmm. Yeah, they really can't get an in on it. Bash, but there it is. Okay. A grab start. into immediate damage 43%, raining down the Pikmin from above. Hunk will be off stage it's here. And Vash, the weight. Ooh, just slowly floating down. Vash goes all the for time the back the air stage spike, but Vash playing this very smart. They're yeah, covering so much of uh, all of Mars recovery range that they just was able to cover so much. And getting that first stock off quite clean. Not letting Hunk get a single start here. Hunk has to Ooh. find a way to separate themselves from Vash and get some advantage back because they're getting beamed a lot <laughs> from trying to combat this tipper master over here but most of that wasn't even tippers marth the one thing he has over lucina sometimes is a pretty good combo game and uh, well <sighs> getting oh, off stage oh, right away here. just throwing away counter. your good pikmin yeah, I, I feel like a, play, a little bit scared right now. Got that early lead, and then it's all slipping away now. <laughs> Bash. Would be mm -hmm. Answers back with the forward smash, taking that first stock off. Let's see if Funk can keep this up and get this percentage back to even. Vash, Good damage. avoiding these Pikmin for the most part, <gasps> as soon as one hits. Oh. oh. The jab oh, reset it. and the jump read now that's without a jump, but catches them with the uppy hitbox and goes for another one. Why not? Snaps right to ledge. Now, just like that, Vash has turned this situation around. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I just got foot still right there. Oh, jeez. Get away from this pick. <laughs> okay, that's not going to kill. Maybe if you would have pummeled. Maybe. Maybe, uh, maybe. Uh huh. But was that what I thought it was? Yeah, it was a taunt. <laughs> were, they, were they trying to like taunt cancel forward smash right there? Because that would have been the most disrespectful thing I've seen in a round one match. 
More power to you if it worked, though. But, like... Tunk. Now, like you said, they weren't playing the distance game at the beginning. Now they are. We drifting back up to that ledge. Vash, not so even trying this? to get him. Okay. Just a throw. Ooh. This is this throw kill range for Marv? Oh, wow. I just Ooh, but they went Marf for it in the jab. <laughs> Interrupts it. This is a good Hunk. answer back from Hunk. Hunk not choosing to be the aggressor here. Just waiting. Just walling out Vash. Yeah, one hit from either of them could be just such a massive advantage. When you get so high in percent like this, sometimes you just want to be dead. Like, it... it <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is. Ah, yeah. nice. The up throw finally connects. There's death. Now Vash can get a little more aggressive. But, yeah. Oh, yeet. Wait, uh, they lift no, that? No rage. Callus, no high rage. ceilings. Forgot high about ceiling, that. High ceiling, no rage. <laughs> oh, tries to read the roll there, but, like, walked a little bit too late. This is a good spot for Hunk. Yeah, Counterfeit's the longer out. the longer they delay this kill, the more Vash is gonna be getting a little antsy. There oh, you go, ooh. that reverse up B taking that stock. It's now evenish. Do not give up your advantage. Okay, hmm. nice answer back from Hunk. These defensive forward airs, back airs are connecting and leading up to a nice percent situation. Oh, they, are they? Oh, oh, they couldn't make it back. That Pikmin damage, that was scary, and just like that, Hunk, that, moving on in the upper bracket. That was... brackets in this tournament? <laughs> that, no, it's this one. But <laughs> that might have been a misinput, because they got side B up there, and I was just like, I think they wanted like a like an angled up B or something, just to try to get back up. That was that was super unfortunate. They really could have made it back, too. Marf has a lot of uh, ground to cover, oh, air to cover, I guess, when they do up B. God damn, that was... Quite the misinput there.